All right, video bloggers, welcome to another edition of Man Child's Video Blog. And in the next two blogs, today and tomorrow, I'll make the argument for whether Greg Robinson should be fired or whether Greg Robinson should stay. Let's start with the ugly today. Why should Greg Robinson be fired? Well, business is business, right? Wasn't Paul Pasqualoni let go because business was down, attendance was low, and morale was frankly low? Well, if you can believe it, it's actually gotten worse in the tenure of Greg Robinson. So business is business. That's one reason you got to let him go. What about season tickets? Think about that piece of business. How many new subscribers to season tickets will sign on for next year with Greg Robinson back at the helm? I can't imagine many. As a matter of fact, I think Syracuse will struggle to keep many of those loyal season tickets that have had season ticket holders that have had tickets for years. Let's talk about the record. I mean, nothing spells out a coach's demise more than the record. Seven and twenty-eight overall, two and nineteen in the Big East. And then only three wins against BCS conference teams. Not pretty at all. Plus, the offense has virtually been inept, other than Cincinnati and Louisville. Really, they haven't shown much. Haven't been able to run the ball. Now, I know they've had injuries, but let's not make excuses. That offense has not moved the ball. Greg Robinson's staff, quite inexperienced. Adjustments at halftime seem not to be make, being made. Or if they are made, it's the other team that's making the adjustments. Syracuse seems oftentimes worse in the second half. Let's talk recruiting now. Another big topic with those that say Greg Robinson should go. Has he done a good job recruiting? Well, if you trust those experts from all those different services, Greg Robinson has been very middle of the road with, with recruits. Now, he did get those two CBA guys. Remember that when he first came in? Bruce Williams and LeVar Lobdell? Unfortunately, neither one of the two of them has really turned into the superstar that we all hoped they would. So you have to be a little bit skeptical about how well he's recruited and how well he'll recruit in the future. The question is, can a West Coast guy recruit in Syracuse anyway? Maybe not. Some think that's definitely the case. All right, let's talk intangibles now. Daryl Gross, he hired Robinson. you got to think that Daryl's got to be a little embarrassed right now. Embarrassed at where the program is. Embarrassed at some of the poor decisions his coaching staff has made. That all starts with Greg Robinson. Paul Pasqualoni must be kind of laughing, but he's doing it in private because Paul's way too classy to do it in public. But he's got to be laughing about it how Syracuse has performed since he's left. Let's not forget the Big East is tougher than ever, ever, and will we ever see another bowl game under Greg Robinson? All of those reasons why G-Rob should go. Tomorrow on Manchild's video blog, we'll take a look at why he should stay. See you next time on the video blog. Take care.